Alright, so in this problem they want us to compare the rate of change uh, of the function in this equation with the function on this graph. Now on the graph, the function they're talking about is this line. So my, my way of dealing with this kind of a problem is to just compare, right, they're asking for a rate of change, compare this, identify the slopes of both functions, and then think about how they're connected to each other. And there, there are different relationships to look at other than just the same and different, but we'll talk about some of those here. So in this function, right, y equals 2x minus 10, that's the equation they give us, let me use a different color. Let me fix that, sorry. y equals 2x minus 10. This number 2 refers to the slope, so here m equals 2. And this means every time we increase our, our x values by 1, the slope goes up twice. So that's our slope here, and our y-intercept is this number, right, b, which is equals negative 10. So in this function, we already have a slope of 2. In the other function, uh, I know it's a negative slope because as the x values are getting larger, you can see here I'm at 1 for x and up at 8, and then when I'm at 2 for x, as the x values increase from 1 to 2, the y values decrease. I go from 8 to 6. So here my slope is down 2 and over 1, or negative 2 over 1, right? So here the slope is negative 2 over 1. So here we can say the two slopes are opposites of each other. One's positive and the other's negative. Another great relation to look at is when two slopes are the same, you can have parallel lines, right? So let's say they both had a slope of negative 2, but they had, we had a function where the y-intercept is at 6, right? So here, this line, I drew it off a little bit. Sorry about that. But if I draw it better this time, you can see these two lines will never meet. They're parallel. They have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. If two lines have the same slope and intercept, they're collinear. If two lines, this is a fun one to test, have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other, so if we had a slope that wasn't negative 2, but it's negative reciprocal, which is 1 half, right, like this, you can almost see it automatically, but then if I had cleaner line right there, but those two lines would be perpendicular. So when you have negative reciprocal slopes, and that means two numbers that multiply to get negative one, that's what negative reciprocal, reciprocal is, then you have perpendicular slopes. So again, just to clarify that here, if one slope is negative two, and the other slope is negative reciprocal, which equals one half, right, our lines are perpendicular. And you know you have two numbers that are negative reciprocals, Excuse me. If when you multiply them, the answer is negative one, and that is right. Negative two times one half is negative one. All right. Hope this helped.